Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Docker on Kali Linux 2020.1. Docker is becoming more and more popular amongst pen testers and it's a really useful tool that allows you to run tools, Kali tools, pen testing tools, inside of a Docker container without the need to install them. And you could also go ahead and transfer your existing Docker container to another Kali instance if you want to, keeping all your configuration files in check. Popular tools like AMES are supporting Docker now and also a couple of other very popular tools, especially in web, web hacking. I uh, came across a couple of tools that are uh, possible to run in Docker. So I want to make a little mini series that covers specifically Docker and the first part of the series is simply how to install Docker on Kali Linux because you need to add the repository and we will just go through all the steps in a second over on the computer. So let's go. All right guys, I have a vanilla Kali Linux 2020.1 here and we are going to through all of the steps to install Docker. Uh, the first thing we always do is sudo apt update. And uh, then once that is done, I just run it beforehand so we can save some time. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add uh, the uh, keys or, or the Docker repository. And I'll just copy that out of the written article that I'll link in the description below. So you can copy and paste it as well. I have the article up on seosec.com. So uh, let's do that. Curl. All right. Then we have the next command which is again adding the docker repository if i would be able to paste it here yeah there we go and note that we don't need to use sudo for either of those commands and once that is done we can go ahead and run apt update sudo apt update once more so we pull down now you can see that we pull down uh, the uh, docker release here in apt then we clear the screen once more and then we want to make sure that we remove all of the previously installed docker versions that may be residing on your os so we do that and as i said you can just copy and paste those commands from my website and last but not least we are going to do sudo apt install docker minus ce tag y and this is 385 megabytes big so we'll just pause the video here and be back when that's done there we go, that was very quick and now we need to start uh, docker by running sudo system ctl start docker. That also went well. Now there is an optional step that you could take so that docker will automatically start every time, or I mean the, the docker service will automatically start every time you uh, restart your system and that's by running sudo system ctl enable docker. Now before you do that, um, please make sure that you understand what this does because if you do uh, go to hacking competitions or something like this you probably don't want the docker service to be enabled in the background at all times or I generally don't recommend to do that I'll usually fire up docker only when I need it and uh, then I don't want to have it running in the background all the time because it just opens another attack angle or a possible attack angle and uh, then we can run uh, a command to verify if the installation went well. It's just sudo docker run hello world and it's unable to find the hello world image so it's pulling it. And we can see hello from docker and that uh, means that docker was installed successfully. Now of course you probably want to have an example of how to use docker in a penetration testing context and that's what I'm going to give you as well. So we'll open up a browser here. And we'll take AMAS as an example for that. So AMAS is a popular subdomation enumeration tool that is widely used uh, in the penetration testing realm. So let's open that up. Let's open up the GitHub and uh, scroll down a bit. And you can already see there is a Docker file which is an indication for that uh, Docker is possible. Let's scroll down more and we go to the installation guide. And uh, there are a couple of other tools that use that. I think Tom Nom Nom has some of, the, of his tools um, up on uh, Docker as well. And even OpenVAS is available on Docker, which is great. And I will make another tutorial on that specifically. So the only thing you need to do is uh, basically what's written here. We need to build the Docker image by pulling this down. So we are going to copy this. 
but because Kali 2020.1 implemented the non-root user per default, we need to run sudo in front of the command. So we're gonna run sudo docker build minus t ams and then we'll point to the git repository of ams. And uh, once we hit go on that, it should pull the stuff down that is necessary to run ams. And what I mean by that is, as an example, if you would uh, go through the installation manually, you would need to install Golang first. So you can see that it's actually the default uh, way to run AMS is with Golang. So you would first need to install Golang, you would need to configure Golang and so on and so forth, as you can see here. And uh, it's actually not that easy like it's written here because with Kali 2020.1 and the new the new non-root user, it's a little bit more complicated than that. You need to set up um, Golang in a little bit of different way. Uh, now you can see that Go is pulling down all the stuff that it needs. And I'm gonna just pause the video here for a second because this probably takes a while to pull and then we'll head, uh, we go back to uh, running AMS. Just that you see that this red text was not a error message. Uh, it is just Golang doing its thing. And actually the video, uh, the, um, come on, the installer is already done. I'm sorry, I had a very long day. Um, and then how to run a tool that is installed by Docker uh, or that was, uh, is run by Docker. So we just simply run sudo docker run ams and then we run uh, the commands and I'm show you, showing you this. Uh, let's go back. There is a user guide for AMS. And AMS is a great tool. I use it all the time when I'm doing bug bounties. And you can see that there is AMS enum techdexample.com. And to do this in the Docker, uh, we just have to run sudo docker run AMS. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I hope you can see that well. AMS uh, enum, same as you can see probably very faintly here. Um, enum tag d and then example.com and what you will see now is AMS running in docker without you requiring to install Golang and all the other stuff beforehand. I'm gonna cancel that here um, just so that you can see that it actually works. And that is it for this video guys. Uh, I'll leave a link to the written article so you can copy and paste all the commands in the description below and as always please do uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this and also hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below for the YouTube algorithm to favor my videos. And uh, I'll produce some more Docker stuff if you're interested in it, leave a comment below. Um, I certainly will do a, um, another video on OpenVAS because I really like running OpenVAS in Docker. And yeah, we'll go over that and maybe we'll cover a couple of other tools and a couple of other things we can do with Docker in a future video. I thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you back in the next one. Until then, bye.